come to a lot of Rock games? We come to every home game. What do you love about coming to see the Rock play? Um, the energy level for sure, the music that they play. It's great, keeps the kids entertained. It's fast paced and uh, it's like hard hitting and, and there's like some fights, just like really intense. Fast and furious, that's how Toronto Rock fans describe a typical night at Scotiabank Arena when their team is in town. While all eyes are on Toronto's hockey and basketball teams this weekend, nearly 10,000 fans were here tonight showing their love for lacrosse, cheering on the number three team in the National League as they faced off against the New England Black Wolves in the last home game of the regular season. How do you compare lacrosse to other sports, like, for example, hockey? Um, I feel like it's more rough, like, it's... Uh, it's more fast paced, so like not not stopping every like three seconds. It would a goalie makes a save, not face off every time. It's like a possession, and then you go. Our fan support's great. Uh, you know the fans that come out. If we don't have a lot, I mean we have the loudest fans probably in the league, and um, you know it's just something that we we love to come out here and play in front of, and um, you know the fan support's been great for us. That fan support has helped carry the team to six championship titles and with a spot in the playoffs again this year, they're hoping to make it seven. Obviously, we have a few games here to go and, um, you know, we're just trying to get better every game to uh, hopefully just be the best we can be uh, when the playoffs come. And as the team looks forward to securing another championship win tonight, they were also looking back. Rock City, show some love. Honoring one of the team's all-time greats, Hall of Famer and former captain Jim Veltman, whose number 32 was retired to the rafters ahead of tonight's game. Growing up, he was one of the one of the guys that I looked up to, and he was just able to do it all. Um, you know, his nickname Scoop, so he picked up a lot of loose balls. But he's a guy that played uh, great defense and great offense. It's that type of skill and athleticism that fans say keep them coming back for more. And they say the upside to supporting this exciting team is how accessible the players are and how affordable it is to attend games. It's probably one of the best sports you could find for entertainment value. You know, you come to a hockey game and it's going to be hundreds of dollars. Where you come here and you can see a game that's it's so exciting for half that. They will take their time out to, you know, talk to kids, sign stuff. Teach kids. Do you wish more people came out to the games and, to, and gave them some love? Oh, I wish this place was full. Like, let's get it going. And the Rock tied a franchise record with their eighth straight win at home tonight. If they win their next game, the last one of the regular season against Vancouver in two weeks, and if the Buffalo Bandits lose both their remaining games, then the Rock will be able to secure a home playoff game.